Hi, hello, welcome to another episode of 20 Minutes Till Dawn. It's me, Cranberry. How's it going? Hope you're having a good one. You might you might notice something a little weird. Uh, we have a little bit of a we have a timer on the bottom right corner of our of our screen here. I'll explain that in a second, but first let me preface this video by saying, hey, a new weapon just came out, the magic bow. Which is what we're gonna be playing with today. Now the magic bow. Pretty interesting weapon, if I'm being 100% honest, just looking at it right now, it doesn't seem that strong. It's probably one of the weakest weapons in the game, if I had to guess. I've only played with it once a little bit before recording this, just to see how it felt. Um, doesn't seem like it's that good of a weapon. It's really weird, and it, and it's, it's, well, we'll talk about the design in a second, but it is cool. It's very neat. Uh, as far as how strong it is, dubious, we'll say for now. Um, the way it works. As the description here says, you can read it, right? You shoot out an arrow, the arrow stays in the ground. When you reload the gun, it pulls the arrows back in and hits enemies on the way back. It has, it roughly, I did, couldn't tell exactly, but I didn't look too closely. Like, roughly two or three levels of innate piercing. So when you hit an enemy, the shot passes through for about the first two or three of them, and then it stops. And then when you pull back in, it has infinite piercing. So it'll hit everything on the way back to you. Base, base magazine size of four. Pretty decent fire rate, nothing crazy. Uh, and pretty fast reload time. So the idea is that you shoot the bow out, pull the shots back in, uh, hit them twice for one shot is the idea, right? And the, 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 it's fine. It's okay. But I don't think it's that good of it. And the main issue I have with it is because the way this gun works is that you shoot an enemy and then you run away from them and then you kill them as you run away and you have to double back to pick up the experience. Uh, it's very, it makes, it makes picking up the experience very annoying and rough, and then, you know, le leveling up slowly does mean you do, by extension, kill slowly, because you're getting your levels slower, whatever. Anyway, magic bow, not, not the point of today's video, though, is what I'll say, because this weapon, it's rough as far as functionality. I don't know what the issue is exactly, it's maybe something to do with projectiles, I think sometimes there's maybe a bug where the, the arrows leave a particle effect on the ground still when you shoot them is what i look like i noticed but it's hard to say exactly but it looks like it le sometimes the 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 return effect bugs out and it leaves a particle effect on the ground and after a while the game does not like how many particle effects you're leaving on the ground um so the way we're going to play this we're going to play abby if you look at our rune page here we're going fire rate increase and reload rate increase elemental barrage for increased fire rate I'm in a big glass cannon fan. I'm going to keep using it, I think, especially because it combos well with growth in the early game. You usually can heal that damage back pretty quickly from the glass cannon. And then ethereal. Now, if you figured out the plan here, more or less, the idea is we're going to trigger ethereal, spin with Abby, put as many arrows as possible around us, and then pull them back in all at once when the, when the reload finishes or when the ethereal finishes. That's, that's the idea. It functionally, it works pretty well. It, it looks pretty cool. As far as how good it is, I'm dubious about it, but I don't think we'll make it far enough for that to matter, because I think there's a pretty good chance the game will crash. I do have to real quick give a thanks to Trollhand, who a little little over an hour ago left a comment to me talking about how the, the weapon was released. I didn't notice. I recorded a video actually today before the update, went to work, saw there was a new weapon, and now we're going to see how this goes. So um, without further ado, let us start the crash percent speed run. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I'm excited for this. This is really fun. First off, new weapon is just cool, right? I'm always happy to see a new, new weapon in the game. Even if it's not that good of a weapon. You know, variety is the spice of life, right? Seems pretty cool. And you can see the issue there, right? That more or less the problem is that you have to like kind of run away, pull it, drag the arrows through people, and then double back for all the experiences over here now, right? It's a cool, it's a very cool design, very neat, but it's probably not very good in this game, is, is the problem. But, who cares? It seems fun. Not everything has to be good, right? Things things can just be fun. They don't have, not every new weapon has to be, like, meta-breaking. So, I mean, I'm here for this, I like the gun, it's, it's thematically very cool. Um, maybe, maybe not terrible with, with Yuki either, right? If you think about it, uh... Decent, decent base damage on it. Multiple, multiple uh, elemental procs per uh, shot being fired. Maybe there's a, there's like a little synergy there somehow. I don't know. Uh, oh, easy double shot. Absolutely taking the double shot here. 
So I'm not I'm not noticing any any particle effects lying on the ground yet. But they're coming, I can feel it. Double shot was a really nice early pickup here for sure. Also, fuck me. My shield. I guess we'll take we'll take magnetism to try to offset the uh the 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 lack of XP you're picking up here, right? Oop, here's here's Ethereal, right? Get our first spin. Put a bunch of arrows on the ground. Once it ends, we'll pull them back in and basically wipe out the entire screen, which is very cool to see. Don't get me wrong. Like the weapon, when it does work, is really cool. Like, look at that. Didn't didn't wipe out these guys because we but you see this? You see these particle effects on the ground here that are not experienced? That's the problem. That's that's what I think is causing the uh the crashes with the with this new weapon. Um, I don't know if it's specifically an Abby thing, maybe because it, see, it really seems to only happen when I trigger Ethereal and just cover the ground in arrows, from my experience at least, so I don't know. Oh, there's Ethereal, let's go. Maybe this need, maybe it's something to do with, uh, ooh, Power Shot. Well, Fire, Pyro Mage also good here. I want the more I want the more base damage though. Oh, think about Splinter with this too. Oh man, there's genuinely a lot of very cool implications for a weapon like this from a design standpoint. I just don't know how good it's gonna actually end up being. Maybe you know I have a couple theories. Maybe maybe if you pull them from off screen, maybe the effect stays in the ground there. Maybe that's part of it too. Oh, oh just walked into you. My bad. Take Pyro here. There we go. We're going, we're going. It is very neat. What's cool about it is that in theory, if there's enough enemies on screen, after the ethereal ends and you pull them back in, you can just trigger another ethereal, right? If you kill if you kill 50 enemies of that volley when you pull it back in, um, there's a lot of potential for cool stuff happening there, right? I think we will take split fire. <laughs> Because that's just double, well, not double, but it's like a 50% increase in shots being put on the ground. And we get fan fire in the mix here too. It's going to be, oh, it's going to be, so, it's, so it's, it's very cool. I do, I do think the weapon, like, I'm going to say it a billion times, right? I think the weapon is, is a cool design. I just don't think it's actually that practical of a, a gun to use in the game. Um... Oh, I mean, I like Arm and Ready, but the, there's gonna be a Fuselade the better here, so let's take this. But I took, when I took Fuselade last time, that's where shit got really fucked up. <laughs> that's where the game started falling apart for me, basically. No, no, no signs yet, I will say. And then if we get if we get Bullet Storm here from uh, the the thing, yes! Oh my god, it's happening. Yeah, Bullet Storm and Fuselade. This is the same order I got it in actually when I was doing the test run as well. So. Oh, we're going ethereal. Uh, I don't know. I guess we take none of these are that useful here. I guess we'll take watch and learn for the increased pickup range. We're just trying to just fill the screen with bullets right now. That's the plan. Oh, I thought we crashed it. I thought we crashed it for a second. They're close. Very close. Gotta, gotta remember this is a speed run. You gotta play it faster. I can't spend too much time in the menus thinking about stuff. We'll see. Oh, we got Ethereal. <laughs> I thought the game crashed when we pulled them in like that. We got a few slates. Shit's gonna be fucked, by the way. Oh my god. Oh, it didn't like that one. It didn't like that one at all. I can't, I can't like move. Oh, level up. Uh, we'll take armed and ready, I think, here. Oh, it's really, it's really struggling, guys. I really, the cursors, oh, the cursors, not, I can't really move to pick up experience. <laughs> Listen, I like the weapon. This one could use maybe a little bit more testing. We trigger one more ethereal. I can't imagine the game handling it. I gotta, I, I, I can only expect it to crash from that point. Oh, I didn't like that callback either.
Oh no. They're getting the, the, the problem is I can't like really like fight efficiently either because I can't really control myself that well. I feel like the last minute has been four seconds in game time. Oh my god. Okay. Let's focus up here, guys. Let's focus up. We're very close to the new world record. Oh, did we trigger an ethereal? We triggered an ethereal. Okay, we're going. This is it. This is the big one. Maybe we maybe we can try to move gradually towards some more experience clusters and hit Fuselade before it ends. It's tough, man. It's tough. Oh, 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 there we go. We have a little bit of movement. I I can't imagine us surviving this recall. This has got to crash the game. Okay. Okay, maybe... Okay. Let, let's think about lag reduction here. How do we reduce lag for a moment? Less enemies on screen will probably help. Uh, so let's move away from the trees, because the trees aren't going to die. All these guys are going to die. The trees won't die, though. So you need to, we need to... I guess, actually, we want the game to crash, maybe. We want them all on screen. I don't know. It's tough. Okay. When did it, when did Ethereal trigger? Was it, like, at, like, the, the, the 1536, I want to say? 35? So we're, like, halfway through Ethereal right now, I feel like. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, hold on. This guy's getting a little frisky. <laughs> Tactical retreat? Oh, he's not surviving that one, right? That's a direct shot? Okay, he's good, he's good. In theory, we could die before the this ethereal spray ends, right? Oh, you know, it seems like it seems like not moving is helping a bit. I think the movement's causing some lag. So let's try to. Well, we need to. I need to move now, right now. I think I'm gonna. I mean, actually, actually, you know, what? we don't have to move. We don't have to move. Whatever. Fuck it. If they hit me, they hit me. Who cares? Like, we gotta crash the game on this on this volley recall, right? Like, we can't we can't pull these in and survive afterwards. Okay. Yeah, it was the moving that was causing the lag. Okay. And once, once, once we recall, then we start moving as well. That should help out too. Oh, four, three, two, one, zero. Oh, oh it's not, it hasn't crashed yet. That didn't crash it. Come on. How did I survive that? The game, the game lags so much when I try to move, man. Okay, we can do this. We can, we can crash the game. We can crash the game here, I believe. We need, we need Fuselade. We get Fuselade in this mix, we're crashing this fucker. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, do you think it'd be more efficient to stay here and just shoot? Or to move, cause like the moving, the moving's lagging us a ton here, right? I don't know. Might just want to move, let them, let them come in and kill them naturally, right? Like, eh. Maybe we don't shoot, maybe we just, you know what? After we recall this next volley, let's see how well we can move without shooting. Let's see how that goes. Not well. Yeah, we just can't move, man.
I, I think it's more efficient to just stand still and shoot and let them let them come within range of us picking up the experience. Okay. God damn it. This video sucks. Is this gonna be funny with God This is not gonna be a good video, I apologize. We triggered it. We triggered ethereal. Okay, then maybe maybe this will kill us. We might we might we might just die. Move up, move up. Okay, good, good, good. Does that kill that that thing? Has multiple hits on him. Hopefully he dies from that. No, he's alive. Oh, we're so screwed. Oh, you know what we can do? We can. Oh, I forgot. So we can. We have split shot, which is important because we can. We can. Oh, do we do not? Do we not have split shot? I thought we had split shot on this guy. Oh no. We're gonna die. Okay, that hit you at least, which is nice. I thought we had we had we had back back shot on this. It's so hard to tell what's even happening on the screen though. If this doesn't crash us, I think we just end the video here. Which is a shame, but like, I don't know. Oh, you know what? You know what'll crash the game? I remember this happening when I uh, was doing the endless run. When I was doing the endless run, the thing that really crashed the game was getting a pickup. So I think if we actually get enough experience to level up here, I think that'll crash the game. So that's our goal. We're gonna, it'll take a while, but if we move left here to this experience cluster to our like uh, eight o'clock, I think that's enough for us to level up. And if we hit that level up while the game is lagging this much, I think it will, uh, it'll crash the game. That's my theory. We'll see though, right? Taking so damn long to move, man. It's like at, at well, let's, let's time it. So ready, ready. So, so oh, okay. So at at fourteen oh five, the frame moved. It's literally six seconds for a frame. We've gone from sixty FPS to point, or that would be point six. It would be one over six FPS. That's crazy. We're making. Hey, we're getting experience. We're leveling up. We're getting closer. It's insane. I don't even know if this game runs in 60 FPS. It might be 30 for all I know. Let's start moving downwards a bit here. So here's, here's the thing, too, we have to be careful about. In four in-game seconds, the reindeer is showing up. We we can't dodge the reindeer. The reindeer is the death screen for us right now. If we don't make it, we don't crash the game before the reindeer shows up, we're doomed. Although maybe the reindeer killing us will also crash the game. Right? Ever, everything about that? I like the idea of also trying to build a run that can beat the game with this without crashing it. That's maybe the next video, is trying to beat the game with a build that doesn't crash uh, the game. We'll have to go like low projectile count, uh, just maybe just high bullet damage, just play it normally. That's my guess. Okay. Three three seconds. Four, 
we're getting close. I think this is gonna give it to us. I think this, I think, okay, move the cursor down please, game, if you don't mind. Video game, please. Oh, too far, too far. <laughs> oh, Ethereal's running out. I just realized Ethereal is, it, it just ended. If we could coincide the ethereal ending and the recall with us leveling up, I imagine that's gonna crash the game, right? Like, what else? What else would do it? Okay, so. I think you gotta go splinter, right? <laughs> the, the working? Didn't crash the game yet. Does the recall crash the game? No, it didn't crash. Okay, so... Uh... I think... I... Oh, ah! Uh, I, I think this mission failed. The ranger's coming now. I don't know how we even... I mean, I don't know, maybe we can kill it. Because, like... We'll see him coming from a mile away, I suppose, right? Hey, can I be honest? It's not worth it, right? Like, we don't have to actually crash the game. We can just end the video here. Like, I was, I'm was, i sorry, you know, a little cocky of me to put up the, the timer. Uh, but like, we're not gonna, we're not gonna actually crash the game like this. Let's be honest about it. Or if we are gonna crash, it's gonna take a really long time and it's not worth actually doing. I think we can all agree to to close it up here. Let the ranger kill us. Maybe maybe us dying will crash the game. Who knows? Let's see what happens. No? No crash? We're still shooting. Which is pretty funny. There we go, okay. So that's that's the new weapon in 20 minutes till dawn. Hopefully you enjoyed that clusterfuck of a video. Um and hopefully whatever is happening there gets fixed because the gun seems pretty cool. Seems pretty neat, but it is it does not work in its current state. Anyway, uh goodbye.